men and women contribute equally to the causes of subfertility. 33% of the time, it is due to female factors. Another 33% is because of male factors. While another third are because of both men and women. However, there is no identifiable cause for about 1 in 10 couples who face infertility. We'll be focusing on male factors in this video. Although it takes only one sperm and one egg to make an embryo, men have the provision of abundance of sperm from nature. That's because in natural conception, there is a long route for the sperm to traverse to meet their goal, a mature egg. In this long race, the sperm's endurance is put to test. Only the fittest can reach the fallopian tube and fertilize the egg. There's three main factors in male subfertility. The first male factor is abnormal sperm parameters. There are terms to describe the various sperm parameters, which are oligozoospermia, which means there is a decrease in sperm quantity, esthenozoospermia, which is the decrease in sperm motility, and teratozoospermia, which is the decrease in normal looking sperm. Sexual dysfunction is also a cause of subfertility. This can be erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, or even retrograde ejaculation. These may be due to prostate surgery, nerve damage, the timing of intercourse, or medication. A third of male causes are unexplained. It might be due to problems in producing hormones for sperm production. It could also be that there is a blockage of sperm transport, which might be caused by previous infection, prostate-related problems, or an absence of a vas deferens. Another cause might be problems in sperm production, which can be caused by various reasons such as genetics, failure of the testes to descend, infection, torsion, varicocele, drugs, radiation damage, sperm antibodies, or heat. These have been the main factors of male subfertility. Stay tuned for our next video on female subfertility factors. Thank you for watching!